I'm used to doing, we do the press at the beginning and I'm so much more energetic and now I'm kind of like, I need coffee or something. <laughs> but for you, you're going to ask me questions that are going to get me excited, right? <laughs> well, what was and great was being able to see Did you see the it? The premiere, yes. Oh, yes. great. All of you saw it? Yeah. Most of you? Some of you? Yeah. Okay. One of, things, one of the things one of the things that struck me April 30th. Yeah, one of the things that struck me is I actually have not really seen the show oh, until really? today. Okay. And it felt like a great entree into a show for someone who hasn't watched. Yeah. I didn't feel like I'm missing out. Yeah, no, I think that's first of all that's a fantastic uh, thing to say to me because of course we want new people to come and we understand you know in this world that we live in where it's possible to binge things sometimes you say well I really want to I really want to watch the Americans which I hear is amazing but there's six seasons of television that's a commitment you need time and and you know it's hard to pick up a show like that and like the hundred in season six but the story that we created I think is a real breaking point it's a real change everything is different it's a new world it's a new everybody up on the stage said it today it's a new it feels like a new show and so I do think you could probably pick it up figure it out pretty quickly who hates who who loves who who's had sex with who and whatnot and then back in see the rest if you want later for sure that's great so does season six have a lot of similarities well, it, it's funny because it's similar, certainly, in that our heroes land on a new planet, right? Um, and there's definitely some sort of like visual callbacks, door opening, seeing the new world. They wanted to step out together this time instead of Octavia going first. Miller has this sort of sassy line about anybody have anything better than we're back bitches. Which is one of my least favorite lines that I've ever written. Um, but, you know, it was also a chance. I, I feel like the pilot episode was not uh, real in, um, representative of what the show ultimately became. I mean, it was very different. You know, we were still trying to figure out, you know, would the CW let us go as dark as we eventually went? And the answer, of course, was yes. And so I think roughly, I've said this before, but roughly episode four of season one, Hanging Murphy, Charlotte jumps off the cliff, spoilers. Um, it's kind of when we found our, our, our tonal groove, anyway. Um, and so this was an opportunity to be able to like do it again the way I wish we could have the first time, in a way. What was it? I mean, it seems like it was very challenging. I mean, last season was great, so how do you top last season with this season? Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like that every year. I'm like, oh, how are we going to, like, we just blew up the world again. You know, what are we going to do for an encore? Um, but for me, anyway, I always have approached it as... Oh, want to sit with me? No, I'm just photobombing me. <laughs> Rejection. Um, I've always approached it as a new movie every year. The new book, you know, I, obviously we haven't referred to it that way until this time, which is, I think, you know, saying a lot in the sense of if every season is as different as it is, and this is a new book, imagine how different this is. So we really, like, I retooled the writer's room. I, 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 some people left because they had other jobs. Other people, I just wanted to bring in some sci-fi uh, voices. And it was just time to, to, to change a lot. And, and we did. The colors are different, the look is different, we have a new producing director, like, we really tried hard to, for me anyway, like, success or failure is, do you believe you're on another planet? It's not a planet, by the way, it's a moon, which we all know now if we've seen the thing, but do you believe you're not in Kansas City? And that's a hard thing to do on a TV budget, I hope that we did it, you know, but uh, that's something that I was, like, cracking the whip hard on everybody all season long to remember that we've got to make them believe. Anyway, I don't know if I answered the question. What was the question? I think just like the one more question. You mentioned the planet, right? Like one planet, and in the trailer they say, oh, they got more, they broke their own planet, and now they're taking ours. Right. So can you really call them like the guys anymore who still be hurting for them? No. Like they have actually been... No, she's a genocidal maniac. Look at her. Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not the good guys. There are no good guys, really. I mean, we said that, obviously, to death. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they come with that to this new world. And there is a world in place. 
and a society that's, for all intents and purposes, we can't talk much about, but that's work. And will they allow these guys into their world is a big question. Yeah, especially once they kind of realize what we've done yeah. to Ruined. the last world. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and he real Russell realizes that there's rapists and well, no rapists, but there's murderers and uh, thieves and criminals up there asleep too. Are they going to invite them in? Do they believe in rehabilitation? You know, uh, that's something that you have to grapple with as the leader of this new society. Do I want to bring in this? You know, do I want to be a good guy? Or no? I do. Yeah. Well, you do. Yeah, I do. You do. Clark's journey this season is she really, really wants to do better. She wants In to order to like Monty and Harper, like giving us this brand new chance, and yeah. you know, it's, it's really important to her. So we'll see how that goes.